Capricorn, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, love. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all, okay? Cross Watchers, I'm a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Capricorn, I thank you for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Guys, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. If you found the message or the message found you, there is something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay that, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Capricorn. This is, what is this? The Psychic Tarot Oracle that we're pulling from. I'm trying to get a feel for the energy. Fertility, Empress energy. Uh, Liberatorian energy. This is an energy of abundance. This is uh, highly intuitive. Um, she's the embodiment of all four queens, okay? Um... So she's the passion, you know, intelligent, um, grounded, you know what I mean? Loving, uh, the embodiment of all four queens. She also knows, um, excuse me, she also knows who she is, where she stands. She knows her birthright, okay? So Capricorn, you are literally uh, loving who you are right now, knowing who you are right now, and you are... 10 toes down on that, you know? Um, solar plexus chakra uh, at the bottom of the deck. This is fire energy, I believe, yeah. Um, Aries energy, I think. And uh, it speaks to the energy of I can, you know? I can do this, I can do that. I know I can, you know? And, and you can. Um, I also have two threes here, damn, with the sun right under that. Capricorn! Woo, you ain't tell me you was feeling this good, baby. Leo energy with the sun, throat chakra. You're communicating. You 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 know, you made it through. Yeah, and it's your turn. You had some uh, karma dealt out on your behalf or up and coming. I think I want writer. Um, karma dealt out on your behalf or up and coming, okay? And it's well-deserved. It's well-deserved. I love it. Uh, the Empress is fertile, and this is called fertility because she births life-changing events, okay? And that's the energy that you're in. You're trying to change your life, period. Not just uh, for the day, okay? You're not just changing your underwear for the day. We're talking life-changing events, okay? Center energy, please, for Capricorn. One. King of Cups. Wait a minute. There's another one here. Center energy, please, for Capricorn. Thank you. There it is. Damn, the sun again. Four of Wands. Okay, you have mastered your emotions. You are mastering your home. You are mastering um your happiness, your life. You are mastering, okay, these things. Period. All right, King of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Sun is your center. I can stop right here. I ain't gonna lie. I love this energy, okay? I don't know what you had, but send some my way, okay? I, I just need a little bit, just a little bit. If they can bottle it, you look. I only look. I'm telling you. This is how you want to live, mastering your emotions. That means that not that you're not loving. You're just very careful with how, how you... Um, give your love, you know, period. You're not wearing your emotions on your sleeve. You're not letting people get to you with their foolishness. You're like, I don't have time, you know, King of Cups energy, uh, fire energy with Aries, Leo and Sag, four of wands. We're talking 11, 11. I also have two threes on the board, heavy emphasis on synchronicities. 
Um, your intuition is probably extremely heightened. I talked about that with the Empress energy, especially with the sun here. The sun is not also uh, not just the happiest card in the deck. It's also the brightest. So it's very illuminating uh, to circumstances and situations. What was in the dark is no longer hidden, period. All right. Crown the energy, please, for Capricorn. And I have a Queen of Wands in reverse. So what's crowning is a lack of confidence. I, that can't be you. It can't be. You can, You don't get to operate in Empress energy and be lacking confidence. So uh, let's talk about what else the energy represents. The energy represents um, maybe lacking uh, control or not fully being in tune. Basically, it's it would be the opposite of uh, into uh, of 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 uh, empress energy and upright. So either you're feeling this. Or, uh, and, or you're seeing, or you're saying somebody is, um, like you is a, a cloud over your parade. Does that make sense? Like you're saying there's somebody in your, um, energy right now, um, that is a cloud over your parade. Okay. This person normally would be spontaneous. They would be, uh, very, uh, in control of their life. They would be confident um you know the queen of wands is just i, I don't know like I, I can't put enough um good things on that energy she's just so powerful and passionate um but in the reverse it, you know she can be either lacking those things or in a real nasty mood i ain't gonna lie or in a real nasty mood i don't think that's you What's undermining Capricorn's energy right now? What's undermining Capricorn's energy right now? What's undermining you? Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and a Queen of Swords. Whoo! All right, you're having some trouble. You had some trouble before. It was with Aquarius. I remember you had some beef with an Aquarius energy. Um, and you could be in that same beef. It's air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with this Queen of Swords. Don't get caught on the signs, though. This is just somebody that um, is really uh, very well-spoken or they're intelligent. You see them as uh, well-spoken or intelligent. Um, but right now, you don't feel that they're either operating in their truth. And y'all are on the outs right now because of some foolishness. Somebody wasn't completely honest. And, you know, they should be. The Queen of Swords really is not known to be a liar. I'm going to tell you that. She has the sword of truth. But you said, Heifer, you lying today. That's what you said. You know you're lying. Or you're not operating to uh, the highest uh, of your potential. You're not operating in your energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever this is, this is somebody that is a, is a problem because you guys are uh, not talking. Five of Pentacles is between... Uh, the start of this foolishness, this argument here with the Seven of Swords. Um, so it, there was a separation here between you and this person. Regardless of what it is, even though you feel good, this energy is still lingering in your midst um, because you feel that it's a problem with your progress. You know what I'm saying? Or you worrying about it is a problem with your progress. Where is this coming from? What brought this on for Capricorn? The Nine of Pentacles. So, a Nine of Pentacles, we're talking abundance. We're talking confidence. We're talking intuitive abilities. We're talking being in a place where you may stand alone, but you ain't. You are far from lonely, okay? This is being um, in a place where you're saying, God, you know what? I'm ready when you are. Just, you know, in the meantime and in between time, I'm good. You know, I'm waiting on you. It's not a rush. You know, it's definitely a high respect and understanding of divine timing. Um, you just really have been in a good place within your spirit. And it just seems like either nobody gets you or they don't believe you. Um, but your surrounding energies are negative and it's not you. You know, I ain't gonna lie because we talking. Where's this going for Capricorn? Future energy, please. Three of Swords. Ow, I didn't see that coming. 
with a full Aries Aquarian here. Um, so yeah, it's something, it, it looks like, like I said, you as an individual energy are doing well. Okay. Um, I think that this is affecting you more than you would like to admit this relationship, this separation. Um, it's also the cloud of somebody either being extremely mean to you, um, or just, uh, just really like a negative Nancy kind of energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's hurtful that nobody can embrace and vasp in, you know, the, the joy of your new life or of your um, new energy, you know? of the, the, You're right, I, I agree. Um, full to the Ace of Cups, you still move forward, you know, and you embrace your new life with this Ace of Cups. Empress here again, you know, Libra Taurian energy, maybe a new life with a Libra Taurus. Um, Star is here, healing, balance. Um, possibly, I have to say, engagement with the Empress and the Star or some type of party. Yeah, um, because there's recognition here, definitely with the star. You stand 10 toes down on your decision with the seven of wands. You're holding on to it, um, and you feel that it's the best thing for you with the wheel of fortune. What you can't understand or what you can't see is this king of swords, same energy here. You know, you can't understand why uh, or what this king of swords wants from you at this point. You know, what is it going to take for this air sign, whoever that is to you, justice is here, possibly a Libra. Um, what is it going to take for us to get to a place where we can be, uh, we can coexist in the same space, you know, we can work together um, and it's going to take strength, will, drive, determination, ambition um, for you to either... Mm, um, Somebody has to swallow their tongue. I ain't going to lie because we talking. And Capricorn, you know that's not your best feature. <laughs> you said, look, I don't know. I, I don't think I can do that. You might just say, look, I, I'm out of here. Six of Swords. You know, I'm going to let God deal with that, with judgment. You know, that just might be your final thing. Look, I can't be bothered with this. I'm living my new life. I'm doing what I want to do. Um, and the abundance and the connection that you have is just completely covered. I mean, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, I, I love it. I love it all the way around. You're just taking control, you know, you're taking control of your life and, um, focusing on your passions, okay, on your passions, your desires, um, no matter what may come, even with this tower, you're still good. No matter what make yeah, see, you're still good. Lover's energy, you're still good. You know, you've chose to live your life the way you want to, and you're good with doing it right now. And to be honest, I don't think it's uh, agreed uh, by the surroundings, uh, by your surrounding uh, friends or family, or if you're changing jobs, whatever the case is, they don't agree with how you're living. And right now, um, your energy is so good and positive that you're like, look, this is who I am today, you know? And even though um, it may hurt that they don't come around, you still move forward because you can't, you're not a person, like I said, to swallow your tongue, you know what I mean? To just sit quiet and let people say anything they want. You know, they're not allowed to just get away with, you know, saying all this, crap. You know, they're not allowed to get away with it. They're trying to sneak off. How are you going to say what you want to say and then sneak off? No, we're not doing that. Okay. We're not doing that. All right. Capricorn, I love you. I hope this helps. All right. I'm sorry that everybody doesn't see or um, feel what you feel, but I see it and I feel it and I wish you all the best in your life. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to leave this here. If any event, none of it resonates, check out your moon and rising, okay? Don't take the energy with you if it's not yours. Leave it for another Capricorn. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you're notified of future readings. And guys, collectively, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time.